Salve, salve galera, continuando a cobertura do motorsport.com das 6 horas de São Paulo, estou aqui com um convidado mais do que especial, campeão de 2009 da Fórmula 1 e agora piloto da Hertz Team Jota no EC na classe de supercarros. Jensen Button, Jensen, thank you so much for talking to us. How is it coming back to Brazil, a track where you have so many good memories from your career so far? Yeah, great, you know, so many memories from the early days, my first ever point in Formula 1 was my second race and it was here <laughs> in Telago, so finishing sixth place um, and then obviously winning the World Championship here in 2009 um, and, uh, and my last win in Formula 1 was 2012, so so many memories and coming back here, yeah, I had a big smile on my face when I got off the plane. Looking forward to racing here. It's been eight years since I was here, so it's crazy how time flies. And this is my first time ever racing in Brazil, not in a Formula One car. And I was going to ask you about that. How do you think uh, the WEC car is going to behave here? Your first year driving full time WEC in hypercars? They're very big. Um, <laughs> uh, I think qualifying will be good fun because you know new tires low fuel you can push the car to the limit i think it'd be great the race is going to be really tough but that's what makes good racing you know i think with the multi-class having us and the gts on track 37 cars it's tough it's really tough i mean we're going to be forever overtaking but and not an easy track to overtake on so the action will be unreal this race i think it'll be one of the best races for for action on track And we are starting the second half of the season, four rounds already done, four to come. How do you sum up your season so far? Uh, Result-wise, not great. Um, in terms of performance of um, outside of the garage in the 38, I think the performance has been very good. You know, Le Mans, the performance is very good. Um, we should have done better in terms of our result, um, but a few little mistakes here and there. And unlucky with slow zones where we lost minutes compared to the leaders. But. Um, Finishing on the lead lap at Le Mans, our first time there, I don't think it's a bad thing. It just means, it just meant that it was so competitive that we went back in ninth. Uh, the first race of the year was probably our best race. We were running in fifth when we had the failure. Um, so we've, we've been really unlucky also with other races, Spa, where we got taken out when we were running well. So yeah, not easy, but as a team, they've done a fantastic job this year. Obviously with the 12 car finishing second at the first race, winning yes. in Spa. Yeah, um, there's a really good atmosphere within the team. You know, there's a lot of very talented people within uh, Hertz Team Jota. So there's no reason why we can't challenge for victories for the rest of the season. Yeah, for sure. Maybe this weekend even. I hope so, yes. Uh, you talk about a great atmosphere within the team, but it's also a great moment for endurance racing uh, all around. We're talking about a moment with 14 manufacturers on the grid. How do you see this, uh, this current phase of WEC with hypercars with GT3? I think the, the best thing about it is that er, almost every single one of those teams can win a race at some point in the season, which most categories you can't do that when you have so many different manufacturers. So yeah, I know there's the, there's the balance of performance, but still, it's really impressive how, how yeah. well this category works, how many manufacturers want to be involved, um, and how involved they are in it. Uh, so no, it's, it's great to see. This is a worldwide event after all, it's a world championship. Uh, so yeah, WEC is in a great place right now, and that's just the hypercars, and the GT yes. category is, is looking great, and I think we'll just even get better over time. Jensen, thank you very much, and good luck this weekend. Galera, fique de olho, a cobertura do Motorsport, nas 6 horas de São Paulo, continua. Obrigado. <laughs>